Hi everyone and welcome back. Uh, in this video, we are going to talk about module aliasing. So, I mean, in the next chess, uh, you might be writing lots of code, and sometimes you end up doing okay like this: import auth guard from dot 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 forward slash dot 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 forward slash dot 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 forward slash score auth guard. A very long path. Okay, I mean that's fine. You can have path like this, but when you have lots of file and your large scale application. right lots of folders and everywhere you have to do it like this then it becomes really not manageable so what you can do you can just create a module alias and we will talk about how you can manage the module aliasing in the next chess and you can just create a folders like okay this is the core this is the shared this is the lib this is the database this is the uh, storage and you can just use simply like this import auth card from at the rate core auth card so you can see the the lines of code you are writing i mean the import uh, length of that import statement is now simplified and it is more easy to understand okay inside a core arc i can just get uh, auth card similarly middleware all these things can be part of core and you can import them directly just using putting at the rate core middleware at the rate core auth card at the rate core decorators so let's see how that happens i mean it's very simple and same logic applies uh, uh, everywhere like uh, in the next js uh, when you try to import it uh, prefix then with at the rate lib at the rate component at the rate uh, shared folders or something like that you can create those kind of folders but how do we achieve the same thing in the next js so this particular npm module will do the trick and what it is doing module alias that will fix this path and convert it into like this and this is what we want to do so here what is the usage and how we do it here we need to tell this in your package json okay these are my module alias this is the root this is the path which i want to convert something like this okay and then you can just convert these modules imports like this so okay we are going to use the same thing i will just put this in the package json and the same thing you have to do with the jest or any other file which uh, is trying to look for the test cases right so same path alias mapping you need to provide in the jest so it's like a module mapper which jest also provides so in the package json first we need to create this module alias so this 23 is the folder 23 nest js path mapping is something which we are working on and we will add this module pnpm add and module alias okay so we are adding this package to the package json and this will add it to the project now we'll start adding the path mapping in the package json so this is how you can create the path mapping i will just put that in the package json so these are the dev dependencies and after that we can put the path mapping now we need to see what all folders we have for what all folders we want to provide a path mapping so in source i have app config db lib at least it should be supporting all these things inside app i have a domain so at least we can have for domain and the path should be from the build directory so build src inside we will have app and then inside that we will have a domain then lib uh, we can create like there is a lib folder outside so build src lib inside source there is a lib folder right so we can directly target that so here similarly you can add for any other folder like for database so that is already inside a build src db build src db you can have middleware guards if you want to add something else like inside app do we have any I mean, we don't have all those things so we'll just use whatever we have like i have a logger logger is inside source logger build source logger similarly the migrations we don't we will use a swagger if you want to import the swagger like this because it's inside build folder so it will be inside swagger so this is the module alias we have created so we can import uh, the files from these folders 
using module alias. So if you want to configure more, you can configure all the folders like logger, lib, lib we have configured, build src lib, we have configured database, we have config, we can also configure config. So I will just paste it and then I will say config build src config. Okay. So now we have to tell our uh, main.ts like our application that how to resolve these path that it will be able to resolve when we specify this import statement. So what this import statement will do? It will look into your package JSON and it will check okay okay if I need to get anything from domain and you have written at the rate domain that means you are specifying this particular path. If you have written at the rate lib in the imports that means you are specifying this build output path build src lib. Okay. Now that is for application, but what about the build? Because when you, you will be doing npm run build and then your compiler will get confused if you start importing with these syntax. So how we can fix that? We need to use these path in our tsconfig also. Either tsconfig build, it's already using tsconfig so we can use in this. So here we can provide the, the path mappings. So put a comma, these are the compiler options. And inside this path, you define all the same path we, which you have created in the package JSON. Okay, domain is pointing to this. Otherwise, you will get a build errors. So I will try to copy this thing quickly. So this is how it looks like now. Domain, okay, get it from source app domain, source lib, source db, source uh, config, source logger, source swagger. So same path mapping. So because we have what are the configurations we have just config, just e2. There also we need to define the module mapping. So copy and paste and define all these module mappers. First for the domain. Root directory is the current working directory. Inside that we have source. Inside I have an app and then there is a domain. Okay, same thing for the libs. Root directory, source lib, source db. And this we need to change config logger and swagger. So this is module mappers are fixed. Same you can copy to just e to e or just config. So overall we have updated the configurations. Okay, and now our applications, our application knows if we try to use this at the rate, then application knows how to import things. Okay, do we have core also? And I want to add the module mapping for core folder also. So how, what I will do? I will add another mapping for lib core because inside a core folder we have lots of things. So I will say core and inside build src app domain. What is the directory? Build src app. Okay, inside that we have a core. Same module mapping you need to update everywhere. So I updated in the package JSON, then in the just config, I will add a new line for the core folder, src app domain, because it's inside app folder, app core. Same you can update in your e2e, just config. So my configuration part is done. Now maybe you need to restart the VS code. Sometimes these path mappings don't reflect and you need to type manually. But let's see. So here, this is another thing. So all the configurations are done. This is very important because this line will tell your nest uh, code. Okay. That there are module aliases and you need to resolve by importing them from the respective directories. So let's say if I start using it at the rate core, then Instantly, it won't reflect the changes. Maybe you need to restart the VS code and let's change it for a couple of places. So here I have changed it in the app module domain auth have we added for authentication. Let me check in package JSON. We have added for all these things. So we are importing from the database. Yes, we are importing from the database in the domain module. So here, nest.js, type or a module, auth middleware, 
what else can we do so these restaurant all these things can come from the domain i will try to replace this let's see because we are testing the change inside domain i have restaurant and then there is a service i mean this path is already long oh you see it now it starts identifying the path import similarly you can change at couple of more places because this auth folder is outside so if you want if you are interested then add this uh, alias for auth also so we have created a alias for uh, auth also auth folder is inside you can see app folder okay we are doing some small mistake so inside src app auth same we need to update in just t2e and in the package json so auth folder is inside app okay now i am importing this uh, middleware and guard everywhere let's fix that so i can go to the domain controller and here you can see i am providing a very long path for the file filters and all can i replace it with at the rate let's try and then we will fix it so these path these particular path uh, we can fix them by just using the alias okay so we imported the auth guard role guard auth guard and decorators and let's go to the domain module here we might be using a middleware auth middleware is coming from auth so i can replace it with at the rate auth okay let's restart and see if it works so we missed few path mapping here in the ts config and the compiler is looking at ts config so here we did a small mistake and we start seeing the build errors let's fix that okay because this is everything ts config we have mapping for domain for lib for auth we don't have auth and core okay let's add them because we can't make our compiler angry about it so we have auth and we have core so that will be pointing to src app core so now we are doing build again npm run build and it is working fine so we can start the application also npm run start let's see if our web applications get started because in the main.ts we have already specified okay how to resolve the path and this module alias will use package.json module aliases and yes it started i mean the port is i need to restart the database but my application is able to bootstrap itself another check we can do is inside the build folder we can run the main.ts inside build we have main.js build src and then there is a main.js it this should also be you should be able to run right and you can see it is also bootstrapping and nest.js is able to resolve all the dependencies that just a database error when I, when i do docker compose up database is up it should be able to restart so this module alias is really very important concept and you can just replace all the the long import with this short import because now this look more simplified if you look this is more readable instead of having this long path so you can use a module alias for any type of folder and just update your whole code base and then you can have n number of folders files structures everything so this module alias is really very important and i use this for all the back end front end projects and what you need is just a module mapping in the package json and reflect the same in for your compiler ts config here the same module mapping and if you are running the test then update the just config and just e2e config also reflecting the same path mapping 